Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Steven Taylor. We're going to be talking a little bit about combustion air. Um, that kind of goes into the thing of hot air and Steven Taylor. But <laughs> anyway, right. we've got combustion air and Steven, I really just want to talk about, you know, why do you need air for a burner? Uh, you got to have oxygen to get the, the gas to burn. You can dump all the gas in there you want to, but until you put some oxygen with it, it it's not going to burn. It's going to go out the stack. So you got to have oxygen to go with it. Um, and one of the things that's really peculiar about a, a blower that I've learned over the years that um, you can't just take any blower and throw it on any boiler. Mm. It, it has to be designed for the pressure drop through the duct, through the burner, and the pressure drop through the boiler itself. If it's not designed properly, you either will be way oversized where it will not operate uh, properly or it's undersized and you can't get the capacity out of the boiler. So it's, it's really a, a design formula that has to be taken into consideration when you put that blower on the boiler. So. Now you threw out a term pressure drop and so maybe we need to discuss that of what actually causes a pressure drop inside the boiler or yeah, in, the, in. in the burner itself, it's, it's just the pressure drop, the, the restriction of the airflow through the burner. And then because the lymph field is a really high efficient burner and it's a, it's a premix, so it takes a lot higher pressure drop across the head of the burner mm -hmm. just to get um, the air through the diffuser and, and to get it out in there. It just takes, it's a lot higher pressure drop. Mm -hmm. And then the boiler itself, because this is a three pass, so it's a corrugated furnace, so you got to have uh, you have resistance just getting the air down the furnace, then it turns around in the back, comes to the front, that turnaround is going to have restriction, the tube is going to have restriction, it's going to turn around again and go back out, and then back out the stack. So every, every pass adds more restriction to the airflow, that adds back pressure, that blower has to be sized to overcome all of that back pressure and all that restriction. And airflow is something that, uh, you know, even going into the burner can be violent and not right, even the way that it's inside it, this burner everything if it if it uh you know if if it's not designed properly when it goes in there it can all the air can be on one side of the of the of the furnace when it comes out mm -hmm. and, I, and i've seen that in, in in pictures i've seen it actually happen where all the you know you look at the flame and one side of it's really blue and the other side is really yellow with all the air is coming out on one side mm -hmm. so you don't have it spinning and doing what it needs to do to come out in a uniform fashion to make everything burn properly yeah now we're inside of boiler university here um, you know, just like other boiler rooms. And it's not just a matter of, okay, we can just get unlimited air inside here. You yeah. know, there's a lot of times that things really get starved. Yeah, we, we run into it all the time. And, and whenever we put a new, new boiler in or we upgrade a burner, the, one of the first things we look at is, do we have combustion air coming into the boiler room itself? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the old boiler rooms, they don't. I mean, they're hooked into a plant they'll leave the little man door open going in the plant and they'll pull air out of the plant. Mm. You can tell it as soon as you open the door going into the boiler room and if it tries to rip it out of your hand and close it back, it's pulling a vacuum on the boiler room mm -hmm. and, and you don't have enough air. And you know, we, we see it in our mobile units. They'll uh, be in a cold climate and they'll, they'll put black plastic over the combustion air inlet uh, duct openings because it's cold. They don't yeah. want that cold air in there. Right. We put that in there for a reason. That's combustion air. Yeah. Then they'll open the, the boiler will start smoking. They'll go out there and open the door up and they quit smoking. They can't figure out what's going on. Well, now you got air, it can breathe. And before that, you're starving it to death. So yeah, it's, something it's, that's, you know, elementary, probably for a seasoned uh, tech or a boiler guy is elevation um, with air. Yeah, these, these are all uh, designed for, typically designed for a thousand feet elevation. Mm -hmm. So like when we rent units in Colorado, any place that's got New Mexico, higher elevation, it reduces the capacity of that water. Mm. Uh, we can normally, because we, ours are a little bit oversized to begin with, normally up to about 3,000, 3,500 uh, feet elevation, we're okay. We get to 5,000, we're gonna be dropping down in capacity of the rental unit. Mm. So anytime that, anybody's designing one in a high elevation, they've got to take that in, into to consideration or they'll, they'll undersize it, they won't get capacity out of the water itself. Yeah. All right, so air is extremely important Extremely for important. combustion, right? You need your fuel, you need con the, the spark, and you also have got to have Three air. things, you take gas, spark, and air, oxygen, so you gotta have all three to make it run. Yep, perfect. All right, appreciate it. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. 
Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today. And again, make sure that you're checking your boiler room, make sure you've got enough air that is getting into the boiler room so that you do not starve uh, the burner. Now, let me just give a quick shout out. Tyler DeWilligan, right behind the camera, is leaving us. And we are gonna have uh, a, a tough time without him. Very excited for him, for his future. Came, came to us 600 videos later, 600 plus videos later, 30,000 subscribers, over 7 million views. Uh, tremendous asset to our business and just his um, uh, work um, putting into what he has done. Uh, we have, we, he just did an excellent job and I definitely want to just make sure that we shout out to him and say thank you and good luck. He's going to have uh, going on to some bigger and better things. He's not doing Hollywood film or anything. He's moving more into the network side. Sharp young man, going to do great stuff and we will miss him. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, make sure you share those videos. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.